Do you trust me? You know I do. Then believe me when I say you're perfectly sane. And you're as strong and as healthy as you've ever been. No, Jax. The illness has already started. It happened once. It'll happen again. You had a breakdown because the man you loved and trusted abandoned and humiliated you. Jax, that I was put, one isolated I put a incident, pair of Brenda. Scissors to my face. What happens if I do that again and I don't stop? Is that what it'll take to prove to you that I'm sick? Okay, granted, there is a 50% chance you inherited the, the gene from your mother. But there is also a 50% chance that you didn't. So before you start diagnosing yourself, why not take a test and find out for sure? What kind of test? Yeah, they take a blood sample. They send it off to the lab for screening, the tests come back in a couple of days, and they can tell you for sure if you have the gene or not. And if I do, then I get the disease, and I go insane, and then I die. I don't think I want to know that. The doctor told me if you inherited the gene from your mother, the disease generally kicks in a lot later. So even if you have it, you can still have many years of a happy, normal life. Waiting to go crazy and die? Is that the happy part or the normal part? Now, time goes on, Brenda. A cure could be developed. It's much too early to give up hope. Now, knowing that I would eventually die of this disease would be like living with a time bomb inside of me. Don't you understand that? Every time I lost my keys, every time I got into a bad mood, I would think that the end was near. I, I can't. I, 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 I won't. So then where do we go from we here? We just leave things the way they are. No, Tess? No. I think that's a mistake. Okay, but I won't, I won't judge you. Look, I right? know. It's your okay, decision. I know that the right thing for me to do would be to take the test and find out what fate has in store for me and then handle it with dignity. I'm sorry if it disappoints you. It's just not what I'm going to do. Brenda, I have no intention of judging you. I mean, the possibility of a progressive mental disorder is enough to frighten anyone. You know what the truth is? The truth is that I can deal with losing my mind and my life. The thing that really scares me is losing you. Lose me? Well, how could that be possible? Because if it turns out I've inherited this disease, I won't stay with you. Why not? Because I don't want you to see me go crazy. And what I want? Jax, is that what you really want? Do you really want to watch someone you love turn into a raving lunatic? Look, if you have the gene, then I'll be devastated. And I'll hurt for you. I'll cry with you every day. And I'll be sorry. But I will not stop loving you. No, I won't let you take care of me. It'll only make things worse. Okay, if, if I was sick or injured or, God forbid, dying of cancer, would you leave me? No. Then what gives you the right to push me away? Jax, if you don't go, I will leave you. And I'll run so far that you will never be able to find me. Look, if you don't want to be tested, that's fine. Okay? Then we'll wait together. And we'll hope together. And maybe the worst will happen and maybe it won't. But we'll have each other. No, Brenda, we'll always have each other. We won't, because if I go crazy, all you'll have is a memory of what could have been with me. We can't get married. We can't have kids. You'd have thrown your life away, and for what? For some girl who, who, who you love, who on a good day might be able to recognize herself in the mirror? It's not going to be like that. No, I can't take that chance. Then, well, then what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting that we say goodbye right now. We need to end, end it. Because anything else would be too hard. Come here. Come here. Come here. Listen. 
I will not be driven away. And I will not be discouraged from loving you. Goodbye is simply not in our vocabulary. With the news that you just received, anything less than panic wouldn't make sense. And that doesn't mean you can start contemplating life without me. Jax, I could freak out at any moment right in front of your face. Tomorrow morning... I made a commitment to you, Brenda, that was unconditional. That means when something happens to you, it happens to us. I'm trying to protect you from destroying your life. It's not your choice. Especially when you don't even know whether you have the gene or not. Okay, if I take the test and find out that I have the gene, promise me that you'll leave me. Absolutely Jackson's not. You've always been so good at giving me everything that I want. Don't deny me this one. There is thing. no reason for me to abandon you, yes, Brenda. there is. No. There are things that I want from life, even more than a future with you. Go on. I want you to kayak all the way around Kauai like you always dreamed of. I want you to win the Baccarat Champions in Monte Carlo. I want you to be able to compete in triathlons and go mountain climbing and skiing. And I want you to buy that island in Fiji that you've been looking at for so long. Most of all, I want you to have somebody with you who can share it all. Someone who can give you children that you can watch being born. And you can, you can bring them up to be so healthy and smart and confident just like their daddy. I want you to grow old, surrounded by a family that adores you. Jax, don't you understand? Knowing that you had all that would make anything that happens to me so much easier. Are you sure you don't want something to eat? I ordered food from Cafe Matisse. <laughs> I'll be hard as a rock in the oven by now. I wish that doctor's plane would have been delayed. So we could have had one last night of happiness before everything changed. You and I have a lifetime of happiness ahead of us. Because loving you is the only future I need. You know, I've never been able to accurately describe you to anyone who doesn't already know you. Because you're so incredible on so many levels. You're beyond words. To see you waste that on someone who could only bring you misery and pain would be like torture to me. Especially if that person was me. If you become ill, Brenda, I will use all the money and resources I have to find a cure. And if I can't, I will stay by your side, no matter what happens. That's the agreement, okay? For better or worse, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both may live. Now you... For better or worse, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live.